Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus, my video blog on discipleship. And today I'd like to talk um, about a book I read recently um, by Frank C. Loback called Letters by a Modern Mystic. And it's a collection of letters he wrote to his father whilst he was serving as a missionary in the Philippines in the 1930s. And it was a low point in his life. He was miles away from home. He felt very lonely. He was frustrated at, uh, at the work he was trying to do and, and the ways he was trying to connect with people and feeling that that wasn't happening very easily and also he had sort of again again a sense of spiritual unrest because uh, as he writes at the beginning in one of the first letters to his father I am disgusted with the pettiness and futility of my unled self if the way out is not more perfect slavery to God then what is the way out and so he, he, he goes on this journey this experiment in prayer where he seeks to be are led in each moment by God. And he plays this thing called the game with minutes. Uh, that's what he calls it. Brother Lawrence might have call, called it practicing the presence of God. But it's this sense that he wanted, uh, Lobach wanted, to spend as many, as much time in his day cultivating a consciousness and an awareness of God um, as he could. And, uh, and so he, he started it and it, he had some success in that and uh, he was frustrated sometimes that he'd forget, but then he'd just get himself back on track and not beat himself up about that, but open himself to God again and again. And as he went, he found that it became easier, that it became more habitual, became part of his habitus. But it was a kind of a, a, a king of habits in that it, uh, it changed all the other habits. It, it um, saturated all his other actions and interactions. As you'd imagine it would be, an awareness to God and to his openness to his spirit's leading in all the kind of humdrum stuff of life changes the way that we do things uh, and transfigures them and transforms them. And he found there was a great richness and beauty in life that opened up to him and a fruitfulness in life that opened up to him as he as he played this game with minutes. And so this week, maybe you might want to play the game with minutes to to spend as much time as you can bringing your mind back to the remembrance of God, opening your heart to him and doing the rest of life in that attitude of openness to him. Even as you watch this video, cultivate an awareness of God. Remember that he's in the room with you. It might help to imagine him sitting in the chair next to you or of opening the lid of your heart and keeping it open towards God and talking to God, being in a constant conversation with him. And as we do that, life will become richer because uh, it will be infused with the meaning and the leadership of God. Um, and also we will start to see people as God sees them and see situations as God sees them and have our fears begin to evaporate or dissolve in his perfect love and see the opportunities he's sending us. He says at one point in the book that every person is God's opportunity and so every interaction can be uh, a work of grace and of God's leading in our lives. Every conversation is an opportunity uh, as we open ourselves to God. So this week, practice the game with minutes. Seek to bring to God uh, bring God to a remembrance and a pray and have a conversation with him throughout your day so that your week is saturated with him and see what an incredible difference that might make to all that we do.